morning students i hope everyone is safe at home in the previous class we discussed about the what are the functions of plasma membrane so now we'll discuss some of the experiments activities related to the plasma membrane so mostly the plasma membrane is called as semi permeable membrane it is called as semi permeable membrane permeable membrane already we discussed in the functions of the plasma so sometimes what may happens it will not give permission to some substances so at this time it is called impermeable sometimes plasma membrane will not give permission to the substances to enter in inside the cell so at that time it is called as the impermeable membrane sometimes it give permission to only certain substances so it is called as semi permeable sometimes it gives the permission to enter the solutes as well as the solvents so it is called as completely permeable membrane so now based on this plasma membrane now we are going to conduct some activities so those activities just to take a egg just take a egg so you know you know that egg is made up of one cell just to take an egg and keep it in a beaker which contains dilute hydrochloric acid so instead of dilute i means instead of hydric hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid you can take any other toilet cleaner any other acid you can take but it should be diluted and leave for 3 to 4 hours leave for 3 to 4 hours so when you keep like what will happen the upper mood shell which is made up of calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate it will be dissolved and we get only the delicate egg which is covered with the the yolks are covered with the plasma membrane just you take the egg and wash it gently then wipe with a cloth gently you have to handle it it will break so just you wipe with the cloth and just find out its uh, length or width with the help of a paper strip just you have to take two x to take two x and do just to measure the width or the length of the x with the help of the paper strip and do this out then then you take two beakers then you take two beakers in one beaker you take tap water Take water. In the other beaker, you take salt solution. In the other beaker, you take the salt solution, and then you immerse this two x inside this. Immerse the this two x, and leave for three to four hours. Leave for three to four hours. So after three to four hours. Just you take out the eggs and again wipe with the cloth and just to measure the length and width. So what you observe, so which is present in the tap water, the egg which is kept in the tap water, its width will be increases. Why? Because plasma membrane absorbs the water from the beaker, and the egg which is kept in the salt solution, they its size will be shrinks so the water from the egg is comes out so these processes will be called as endosmosis endosmosis and exosmosis what is endosmosis endosmosis so during endosmosis the water from outside enters into the cell through the plasma membrane so we are giving we are giving more importance to the plasma membrane here what will happen the water here the water from the outside enters into the cell through the plasma membrane so how it goes through by the gas you you measure the width and length now again we measure the means the size increases so it proves that yes plasma membrane absorbs the Water and also in the beaker, the quantity of the water decreases. So in 
the next condition you see this is called as exosmosis means the water leaves the cell the water leaves the cell and enters to outside so in here the water inside the cell will comes out by because salt condition is there so the condition of osmosis is what the movement of water molecules from lower solute region to higher solute region in the solute till the concentration become equal so this is the higher solute region and this is the lower solute region so the water from the egg will comes out so this is called as exosmosis exosmosis and endosmosis so now we do the another experiment with the same egg now what we will do just we put the pin say pick to your course just we take out the white yolk and yellow yolk from this membrane from this egg membrane and these two egg membranes you take and one egg membrane just just for one egg membrane in that with the help of the syringe you know the syringe with the help of the syringe you fill the water just we fill it with the water and tie here with the help of a thread try to tie here with the help of a thread and keep it in a Bigger, which contains, which contains sugar solution, which contains sugar solution. Okay, and leave for three to four hours. And take another egg. This egg, no, the take another egg. So in the egg membrane, you take the sugar solution. In the egg membrane, you take the sugar solution. In the beaker, you take water. In the beaker, you take water. And leave for three to four hours. So what you will observe here, the egg membrane which you kept in the sugar solution, here what will happen? The water content in the egg membrane decreases. The water content in the egg membrane reduces or decreases. Why? Because the water from the egg membrane enters into the sugar solution. So the the level of the sugar solution increases. The level of the sugar solution increases. But in the other case, what will happen? We kept the sugar solution in the egg membrane and the water in the beaker. So from the uh, here from the beaker, the water enters into the egg membrane. So in what will happen? Here, in the egg membrane, the level of the sugar solution increases. Means it shows that always during the osmosis, the solvent moves, not the solute. The solvent moves from the lower solute concentration to the higher solute concentration. So this, this is the mechanism which takes place in our body also. The cells which are present in our body, they follow this. Mechanism. So apart from this, the plasma membrane will not allow the foreign organisms to enter into the cell. So already we discussed in the issue. So this is my case whether they are useful or harmful. If they are useful, it gives the permission to enter into the cell. If they are harmful, it will not give permission. So other process is called.